the next five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can create your very own base token from start to finish. Meaning by the end of this video, you'll have your own token in your wallet ready to be traded. Now I looked around a bit for base token creation guides. I couldn't find many, but the ones I did find had some level of coding required, which I understand can be confusing. So that's not the case today. In this video, I'm going to make it super simple and easy to follow with absolutely zero coding required. All right, that being said, let me hop into my computer and let's get started. So before you start, you need to have an Ethereum wallet. I recommend MetaMask. It's the number one Ethereum wallet out there. If you don't have it, download it. If you do have it, great, we can move on. Also, you're going to need to have some Ethereum on the base network. That's a given. This is a base token creation guide. Also, quick disclaimer, the token I'm creating in this video is strictly for educational purposes only. I'm not going to be doing anything with this coin. Hand me on Solana is my focus. So the first thing we're going to do is head to bedrocktools.io and connect our wallet to the website so we can begin. Now, I'm going to walk you through the entire process in this video, but you can see right here on the right hand side, they have a step by step guide, which you can follow which is always helpful. The great part about this site is I don't need to bounce around to Radium or a Soul Incinerator or other websites to launch this coin. I can literally do every step needed to launch my coin here on Bedrock. All right, once we're connected, it is super simple. Here's how we start. First thing we need to do is choose a name for our token. I've thought long and hard, and for this video, I'm gonna call this token Baby Turtle. Let's do Baby Turtle. Now we have the name for our token. Let's choose a ticker symbol. The ticker symbol for meme coins is just like ticker symbols for stocks. Shopify, S-H-O-P, Amazon, A-M-Z-N. Pretty straightforward. So the symbol for baby turtle will be tort, T-O-R-T. Now for the decimals, we're going to do 18 decimals. That's recommended. I'd say like 90% of the coins that are launched on Ethereum and base have 18 decimals. That's just the default. So for this video, I'm gonna recommend 18 decimals. We're gonna do that. Now for supply, it really doesn't matter. I would recommend a higher number though, something between one and 10 billion. A lot of base tokens have supplies in the billions. So for this video, we're going to do 10 billion baby turtle tokens. So that's 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10 billion. Now you may be wondering why there isn't a logo section here. With base tokens and Ethereum tokens, you do not create the logo when you're creating the token. All that gets done after. I'll explain it at the end of this video. Don't worry about that now. It's super simple. All right, baby turtle, tort, 18 decimals, 10 billion supply. It all looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create token. A pop-up will show up right here on the right-hand side. All right, here we are. All right, so we can see the estimated changes right here. It's gonna cost us 0 0.03 ETH to create this token, and we will receive in return 10 billion of our tokens. All right, it all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. Now we're just gonna wait about 60 seconds or so. You can go ahead and click on MetaMask if you want. Just wait for this transaction to be complete. All right, so the transaction is complete. You can see it right here. Token created successfully, wonderful. You can see our token address right down here below. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Clicking this will copy your token address. Now your token is already in your wallet, but to get it to show on MetaMask, you need to click on MetaMask, go down here and click on import tokens. Click on custom token and simply paste the contact address that you got right here right here, click next, and your token will populate. Tort, 18 decimals, click next. There we go. And now we can see token imported successfully into our wallet. We have 10 billion Tort tokens right there, ready to go. Now the tokens in our wallet, we can send it to our friends if you want, but it is not publicly tradable, meaning that people can't swap Ethereum for our token yet. And to do that, we need to create a liquidity pool. Next step, once we make this liquidity pool, our token is officially live, so pay attention, this is important. Now that we want to create our liquidity pool, we're gonna go over here to manage token and click on add liquidity. I would recommend at least 0.4 or 0.5 ETH when creating your liquidity pool. A lot of people do between 0.4 and 1 ETH. 1 ETH is the sweet spot, 0.5 is also great. If your liquidity pool is really, really small, it just doesn't really help you out. For this video, I don't want this token to be tradable, so I'm going to make a very, very small liquidity pool. But just know if you want to launch a token for real, I would recommend 0.4 to 1 ETH in your liquidity pool. You're going to help yourself out tremendously if you add that extra bit. Also, when adding tokens to your liquidity pool, if you want to add 100% of the supply, you can do that. I would recommend if you have plans for this project, you want a marketing wallet, etc., maybe add 95% or 90% and keep a little bit for yourself just so you can pay for expenses like exchange fees, marketing fees, giveaways, contests, and all that fun stuff. But if you don't want to, that's totally fine. Once again, this all really comes down to what your plan is. Definitely don't add only like 10% of liquidity. I would recommend at least 90%. 95% is even better. Nobody likes seeing the developer have 30% of the token supply. It's just not safe. So again, it really comes down to what your personal preference is. For this video, I'm going to do 95%. So if I was to launch this liquidity, pool now, I would be tying one ETH to 95% of my token supply, which would ultimately create a price for my token. So because I'm not going to be doing that, I'm going to do 0 0.001 
and make the liquidity pool almost zero. So if I'm putting 95% of the supply into this liquidity pool to start it, what I'm going to get in return is liquidity pool tokens. It's a different token. What it is, is it's a receipt showing that you own those liquidity pool tokens. You add liquidity, you get liquidity pool tokens back, showing that you own the liquidity in the liquidity pool. And later on in this video, we're gonna go ahead and burn those liquidity pool tokens to really add trust and security to our token. So this all looks good. I'm gonna add 95% of the token supply and click approve. For the Ethereum network, you have to approve your tokens to be sent. And what that's doing is it's allowing the website to add the liquidity pool for you with those tokens that are in your wallet. I'm gonna click on next and I'm gonna click on approve. All right, so now that it shows add liquidity instead of approve, we are officially ready to launch our token. Here we go. I uh, added a couple more zeros to make it even more untradeable. Once I click add liquidity, it's going to create the liquidity pool, make it live. It'll give me liquidity pool tokens in return and people can buy and sell this token. Well, not this token because there's no liquidity to trade in, but if I were to do, once again, 0.4 or 0.5 ETH, people would be trading it actively right away. There we go, add liquidity. Once again, it shows you the transaction, 9.5 billion going to be added to the liquidity pool. These managed token features are free to use. There's no extra charge, so you're just paying the gas fee. Double check the numbers look good, make sure your liquidity is good, and we click confirm. Liquidity added successfully, there we go. Our token is officially tradable, it's live, anybody can trade it, and to check that, you can go into Deck Screener and check their new pairs tab on the base section. I'll have that link in the description below. We're gonna see Tort pop up in the new pairs. Here we go, Baby Turtle Tort just popped up, created 41 seconds ago, our token is now live. If I click on that, I can go over here. Very little liquidity, so nobody's gonna be buying and selling this, that's my goal, I don't want people trading this token, but if I had a bigger liquidity pool, people would be buying and selling like crazy. Now that your token is live, tradable, ready to go, we need to burn our liquidity pool tokens, making our token even more trustworthy and secure. People are not going to want to buy your token if the liquidity pool is not locked, so I'm gonna go ahead and burn all of my liquidity pool tokens. Even though it's almost zero, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Keep in mind, burning your liquidity pool tokens is irreversible, you cannot get that back. Yes, it does add a whole bunch of trust, security, validity to your token, but just know that that is not a reversible thing you can do. Once it's burned, it's burned. So I'm gonna go over here to burn liquidity pool token. Your token address will already be populated in here. If it's not, just enter the contract address of your token and it shows you what your LP balance is. So I have 97.5, LP tokens, and all I need to do is click on 100% and click on burn liquidity, confirm, liquidity burn successful, and we have successfully burned our liquidity pool. We're good to go. Our token is officially launched. All we do now is go ahead and update our DEX screener and DEX tools token information page. You can do that right here, like I'm showing. Scroll down, click on update token information, fill out their form, pay the fee, and you're good to go there. With DEX tools, it's the same thing. Just go over to your token address, click on update, and update the token information there. Now for the very last step, now that our token is live and tradable, we need to add a logo and a little description to our token. And to do that, we're going to go over to basescan.org and create an account. Now once you created your base scan account, go back to your token address on base scan. Right here, you can see baby turtle token. I'm gonna click on the contract address, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on token tracker right here, baby turtle tort. And then what we need to do is go over here, click this little drop down box right here, and click on update token information. Verify address ownership, connect to Web3, okay. MetaMask, we're going to approve. Make sure you're signing with the wallet you created the token with. All right, verify ownership. We have verified our ownership, that simple. Now if we go over here to update token information, we can do that. Add tag name, we can do that. And add project labels, we can also do that. First thing, update token information. All right, now that we've verified our contract, go over here, click OK on the notice, and just fill out this form with your token information. And that's it, you've officially created a base token. It's live, it's ready to be traded by anybody. You've got some extra in your wallet for giveaways, contests. Tor is currently up 261,000%. Obviously that's not real, there's $0 liquidity or less than a dollar liquidity. Nobody can really trade this token, so don't even try. This is by far the easiest way to create a base token in my opinion, it only takes a couple of minutes and it is so so simple but that being said thank you so much for watching to the end i wish you the absolute best with your token launch i really hope this video helped you out if it did give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next video have a wonderful day take care